So over here, I'm in the Prezi dashboard, as you can see. And right now, I only have one presentation, which is the, which is the default presentation by Prezi itself. And over here, you can see that I'm in Prezi Next right here. If I were to click down uh, right here on this arrow, you can see that I can choose Prezi Classic. And this is the one, uh, is the old version of uh, Prezi, which is actually, which actually uses Flash. So as Flash is being obsolete in the online community, uh, they, are they are making this obsolete and then uh, the new users do not have access to Classic. So they are, they are uh, actually creating Prezi Next, which is based in the HTML5 animation. So we're using Prezi Next now, and we're going to focus on our course on the Prezi Next itself. So over here, you can see that I have folder management settings, so I can actually create new folders right here and then arrange my slides according to it. So you can see that I press new folder and new presentation, and I can see that I can save it out right here. For example, I can say tutor tube just like this, tutor tube and press save, and it'll actually save it out just like that. So there are my folders as you can see right here. So now, I'm just gonna delete this folder right here. Delete folder, there you go. I got to the tube just like that. So here I want a new presentation. In order to do that, simply click on new presentation right here. And what it does is it redirects me to a new page where I can select the template for my presentation. So on the left side, left hand side, you can see the categories that I can choose the templates for. So you see there's sales and business development, there's marketing, there's education, nonprofit, there's assign training and general, which are the uh, basic, um, uh, uh, basic uh, templates that we can use. And there are tons of templates, so you do not actually need to make everything by yourself. There may be uh, a template that may be suitable for you. You can also filter the templates by colors. For example, if I were to choose blue, you can see that only blue templates actually appear just like that. Let me just unfilter that right here. If you're feeling adventurous and you want to create everything from scratch, you can simply go to general and start from a blank template as well. Uh, for the sake of this lesson, we are just going to choose a template. So uh, in our case, let's choose a template for education and nonprofit. And over here, you can see that there are tons of templates that you can choose from. So let's choose the one which actually suits our needs. So let's say uh, I want to search for something like this, as you can see. So it's a post-it. It's, it's a laptop with everything else. So let's say I want to look at this template right here. This is at the master level, as you can see. So each of the template actually has a master and a no novice and then uh, average and so forth. That, that is because like the skilled and everything. That means this uh, to use this template, uh, you need to be at a master level. So it is a very advanced template right here. This one is a skilled one and novice one is the ones for beginners. So if you are want to stick to something um, simple, then go for novice. I'm gonna choose this anyway. So once you click on that, you can see that you see a preview of the template right here. So you can see that there are tasks right here. If you were to press explore this template, you can see that this is how the template actually works. So this is notes as you want, as you can see right here. You go over here, you see the task two, you click over here, you can see the task three and so forth. So let's say I like this template. So I'm simply going to use this template right here. Let's click on use this template and then you'll be redirected to another piece. So it's preparing the template for us, as you can see right here. And now you can see that I'm in the editing piece. So it has a new template right there. So now this is how you create new uh, templates. So on the left side, you can see that I got places to edit all my templates right here. I got my menu up on the top and then you can simply move this around and edit it right here. So we're going to see those in further lesson on how to work with the editing area inside of Prezi. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.